In this video, we're going to find the p-value in a right-tailed hypothesis test. In particular, we're going to do it for a z-test, and we're going to do it with StatCrunch. It's very, very easy. So we'll focus on problem one. It says, suppose that in a right-tailed hypothesis test, the test statistic is 1.87. Compute the p-value. So by a right-tailed test, that means you have a greater than sign like this in your alternative hypothesis. So to do this problem, because it's a z-test, you want to go to stat, calculators, normal. You always want to go to normal whenever you're using z. So we go to normal. And then because it's a right-tailed test, because we have a greater than, you want to pick greater than here. And then just plug in the value of your test statistic in this box. So 1.87 is the number we have over here. Then you click compute and there is the p-value. I'll do it one more time. In a right-tailed z-test, you want to go to stat, calculators, and then normal. Then it's right-tailed, so you pick greater than, and then you enter the test statistic here, which was 1.87, and then you click compute, and there is the p-value. So I hope that made sense.